Yo, what's up bros, NZG here, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. In this Red Dead Online video today, I'm going to be showing you bros that have the Moonshine roll, how, oh, sorry, the Moonshine roll and the Collector roll, how to be able to duplicate some wildflowers really quick. Okay, so the wildflower that we are going to be duplicating, 10 of, is the Cordinal Flower. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, we're going to be getting 10 of those, which is going to give us $70. Okay, so they're $7 a piece, and we're going to get $70 from 10 of these wildflowers. So like I said, you bros have to have the moonshine roll for this method, and you do have to have all of the moonshine missions complete. So to know that you have them complete, you go to progress, go to story missions, when you click on story missions, go to a life of a shine, and you should have five missions here. If you bros have five missions here, well then you have all of the missions complete. If you don't, well then you want to go ahead and just finish those missions at your shack. You'll go to your shack and you'll press like square or something to start a mission. And you want to finish those missions at your shack. But you want to go ahead and start up that last mission. While you're in this last mission, you want to go ahead and open up the Gene Rope Key map in the description and you're going to notice that at the moment there's a wildflower right here. So we're going to head straight to that wildflower right now while we are inside this mission. So the aim of the game of what we're doing while we're inside this mission is we are collecting five wildflowers. So while we are on the way to that wildflower, you bros want to open up your map, go to a life of a shine. Go to that fifth moonshine mission and hold square to replay the mission again. And nothing should happen. But never mind, nothing happens right now. But that's going to be an important step for later, so pay attention. So once you get to that wildflower, you're going to pick that wildflower. Then you're going to pause the map. Then you're going to make your way to this location here. This is where the next wildflower is going to be at the moment in this cycle. So if you bros are watching this video late, and uh, you don't find the flowers in the locations that you say that they're in, or that I say that I say that they're in, sorry, well then please don't go ahead and say in the comments that it's patched, because it's not patched, okay? The collectible items just move daily. So yeah, if they're not here, if you're watching the video late, well, you answered your own question right there, it's because you're watching the video late. So after you've collected that second one, you want to head back over the bridge that we headed over, uh, to come over here and you, you guys are going to go past the wagon that we spawned on in the mission and once you bros go past that wagon you're just to the left of that wagon there's going to be another wildflower out here and you're going to go ahead and pick that one too so this is going to be the third one so the fourth one is actually out here so you're going to now go and ride to that one. So this is why this is good, bros, because we can actually pick up 10 wildflowers here in about um, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how quick you are. Uh, once you get to that fourth one, you're obviously going to go ahead and pick that one. Uh, well, once you pick that one, you're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you where the last one is. So the last one at the moment is out here. So we'll go ahead and we'll put our waypoint out on that one and we'll we'll set our waypoint on that one and we'll ride out to that. So the beauty about this glitch is too guys is there's no timing so you guys can take as long as you like doing this. You don't have to worry about like going from each collectible, like from one collectible to another collectible in a certain amount of time or you won't hit the glitch you know. So there's no timing with this one, that's the beauty about it. But you should see now at the moment after we collect that one. We do have five of those wildflowers. So right now what we want to do while we're inside this mission is press pause, go to online. And then when we hit online, go to find free roam. So we want to find a new free roam. It's pretty simple from here, like once you bros load back into that free roam, you won't actually load into the free roam. You're going to see like a little bit of a glitchy screen. You're going to be like under the map and stuff like that. 
And this is why we started that mission earlier. This is why we replayed that moonshine mission earlier. Because as you notice, we sort of just spawned straight back into that mission again, rather than spawning into the free room lobby. So it's pretty good and it doesn't actually take too long. We actually even skip part of this cutscene doing this. So obviously once we spawn back into the mission again, all of those wildflowers actually have like respawned. So all you need to do is just make your way back to every single wildflower that we did in the uh, at the beginning of this video. So as you see me doing here, I head back to the first one and it is there so I collect the first one. And then after I head back to the first one, I head back to the second one that I collected. And then after I head back to that second one I collected, it is also there as well. So all these five wildflowers that we did collect earlier, they have now respawned so that we can go ahead and collect them five more times. So don't click off the video just yet, bros, because um, I'm going to show you, bros, exactly how you need to finish this, okay? Because if you want to keep doing this, well, then you do need to finish it a certain way. So you bros did notice that this time we're doing it, we did not press pause and replay the mission because after we find a new free roam this next time, well, we won't be doing the mission again, okay? Because we're going to have a full set of these flowers. So after we we do it this time, we actually want to go to Mamnazar and sell these 10 and then we want to come back and do it. So you see me right here now making my way to the fourth wildflower. So this actually isn't the fourth one. This is actually the ninth one. So this is our ninth wildflower. Now we're going to make our way to the tenth one. So already bros, I've already collected like nine wildflowers and we're about to go and get the tenth one. So we've basically just made $70 in Red Dead Online, like super easy. So you're going to go ahead and collect this last wildflower here. And now we do have 10 in our satchel. I'm going to go ahead and show you we have 10 Corundal flower. I think I said it right. But after you bros have 10, you want to go ahead while you're inside this mission, press pause, go to online and find a new free roam. Okay, you must press pause, go to online and find a new free roam while you're inside that mission. And then you're going to spawn back in a free roam lobby. And now that you spawn back in that free roam lobby, you bros might not know it, but you have spawned back in those five wild flowers again. So what you're going to go ahead now and do is go to Madame Nazar because you need to sell these 10 wildflowers. As you see, I have 10 wildflowers and they sell for $70. And then you're going to start that mission back up again and do this process again. I hope you bros did enjoy the video. If you did, drop a like. And if you're not a sub yet, hit that sub button, turn on notifications. Peace out.